you! It's T-Bone Pearson here with my new puppet. This goblin puppet it doesn't have a name quite yet, but it will. Um, so I've been building this guy with uh, stuff from the dollar store, and this is episode one of how I built this guy so far. Okay, so here I am working on the goblin design, and this is where you figure out, you know, are the ears too big? Is the nose too big? Okay, so I changed my mind and I gave him a bigger jawline just to make it look like he could bite harder. It turned out okay. And then I did the side one here. And then I'm working on sort of like the size of the skull, the shape of the skull. I'm gonna keep just sketching until I find stuff I like. Okay, so this is the final design for the goblin. And now I'm taking a wire hanger and breaking off the ends of it I'm trying to make a straight piece of wire uh, to try to make an eye mechanism for my goblin. Okay, so now that I have it, I'm gonna bend it in the middle, like so. Get up my pliers and just make that better. Not really pliers, like a wrench. Uh, whatever you can get your hands on, any type of tool that will allow you to grip it better. Okay, so here are the eyeballs that I made out of uh, like foam, styrofoam, and I marked it so I can stick the wire through the eyeball. There's number one. Slide it on there, and let's do it to the other eyeball. And I've got them both on there, looking good. All right, get out the paint. Get some browns, get some yellow. Now I use a safety pin to uh, do fine details on my puppets. So I'm just going to uh, paint these to my own liking. Nothing, you know, and sometimes I scratch into the paint a bit to give it some texture. Now I'm gonna bend these up and around the eye, like so. Okay, now I want to break off these bottom parts. There's too much there, so I'm just gripping it and spinning it and breaking off that piece. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Here we go. So there's the sort of uh, the blinking eyes. Now I changed my mind as far as the angle. There we go, so I just straighten those out. And now I have to build the skull. So I just found a cardboard box, I think from Amazon or something. Get up the trusty scissors. I have to make a hole for the eyeballs. Cut away. Almost there. Here we go. So that's is where the eyes are gonna go for the goblin. And I'm just gonna make a little spot there for the trigger. Like so. Episode two of How to Build a Goblin Puppet is coming soon. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment.